Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video, we are going to discuss about confocal microscopy. In vivo confocal microscopy is abbreviated as IVCM. It is a non-invasive technique that images cornea and conjunctiva in vivo. This picture shows a confocal microscope and this is an image obtained by confocal microscopy. Now let us discuss the basic principles of confocal microscopy. In conventional light microscopy, light source is used to evenly flood illuminate tissue of interest. All parts of tissue in optical path are thus illuminated. The light is reflected and scattered from images outside the focal plane leading to image degradation. Whereas if you notice in confocal microscopy, pinhole apertures are used to both focus point source of light on tissue and to collect light waves reflected specifically from this point. As these apertures are conjugate to focal plane, the term confocal microscopy is used. An array of apertures is then used to examine many points simultaneously and this array is scanned rapidly across the field to create a two-dimensional corneal image. The device can then scan down through cornea creating a series of on-fast optical sections allowing visualization of corneal microstructure at various depths. Coming to the technology of confocal microscopy, in HRT Rostock cornea module Manufactured by Heidelberg, a laser scanning confocal microscope of wavelength 670 nanometer is used to obtain high quality high resolution images of the cornea. This picture shows the confocal microscope manufactured by Heidelberg. The lateral resolution is 1 micron and the depth of field is 4 micron. Coming to the indications of confocal microscopy, it can be used to diagnose infectious keratitis like fungal elements and acanthamoeba cysts. This picture shows fungal elements in cornea in a case of fungal keratitis using confocal microscopy. It can be used in the direction of corneal pathology like dystrophies, degenerations, deposits and infections. It can be used in post-surgical analysis that is after refractive surgery, collagen cross-linking or for visualizing filtering blebs post trabeclectomy. If you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comment section. For more such videos, please check out my playlists. Thank you.